What's up guys, Radioactive Blue Gaming here and welcome back to some more Stormworks. Today we're going to be um, checking out this um, super advanced submarine VOSS Juggernaut. It's got all sorts of things, it's got missiles, I'm pretty sure you can launch missiles, maybe we'll try and launch some missiles at some Megalodons if we can. This thing I've sort of tested out, it is very agile, it also comes with an, an escape pod you can use to escape just in case there's any, you know, megalodons that want to kill us, which is very likely. But anyway, if you guys enjoy this episode of Stormworks, let me know down in the comment section below. And also, if you have, while you're down there, maybe drop a like and subscribe, and let's get straight into the video. Okay, I am currently in the engine room. I'm gonna work our way up. Um, over here is the escape, escape pod. You can use to escape the ship. Also provides a nice underwater view. Oh no, that's the Leah. Find the flares, so we are probably gonna die. Yep. Oh. I just wasted the emergency equipment, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna die. But good thing I do not have survival on, because this isn't a survival. But if you want me to do a survival one later in the future, um, just let me know down in the comments if you want to see that. Now I'm gonna show you all the stuff. You can fire flares, activate the boiler system. With a heater, you can, you know, fight missile fuel pumps. Um, missile one, um, missile two. Missiles are now armed. You can now see a flare back there. Unlock launch one, unlock launch two. All missiles are ready to fire. Now let's summon some megalodons in here to um, fight and shoot them with. They're probably going to completely miss, but maybe they'll lock onto them. And then we're going to dive straight underwater and try to escape them. No, make them think we're one of them. Can I spawn megalodons? Did I enable that option in this world? Pretty sure I did. Yep, there's definitely a Megalodon heading right this way. Yep, it's good to know there's a Megalodon heading straight for me. So I'm gonna, I can't turn. Probably a good idea I launch the missiles, missiles away. Yep, there goes all the missiles. Um, now I think it's a good time to dive, 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 dive. What do you mean is? The, the megalodon don won't expect this. We change depths. Oh no, it knows. Oh no. Can I get the radar up and running? No, I can't get the radar. Oh, spotlights online. Left spotlights. Well, all the spotlights on, yep, yeah, I can see them right behind us. We should be out running at him. How much deeper can we dive? Oi. 
There's different cameras you can use. So a night vision. Oh, we are getting dangerously close. Yeah, we are heading. Before we crash into an island. Okay, we have a bit of damage at the back. There's also a scuttling system, so... We're gonna have to get into open waters and then scuttle the ship. Because there's no way I'm shaking this megalodon off. Okay. Okay, there seems to be a pretty big drop off over here. This thing isn't the fastest thing in the world, but it does go pretty fast. Okay, we're gonna take this down 30 meters. We're going 30 meters deep into the ocean. This thing dives extremely quickly. Scuttle sequence. Cabin flood level. Oh no. We're tilting really badly. Something's happening. Are the lights flickering? What's happening? We're tilting really bad. There's a lot of smoke in the cabin. Is that something I should be worried about? Oh, I think the engine detonated. Oh no, we are flooding fast. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. No. Bulkhead sealed. Alternative escape route. Excuse me. There's no alternative escape route. There's nothing else. There's a maintenance hatch in there. I'll have to try and take that out. Yeah. Ventilation shaft I can go through. Oh. The engines are on fire. We need to wait for the water to get further in. Come on, let me up. Come on. Which the ladder? Yeah. Okay. You get out of the ship. Man, that was actually a pretty good uh, escape sequence. It requires you to um, close the door. Power on. 
again to the sea. It's getting port port launch. And that was actually uh, one of the best survivals. That wasn't really much of a survival, but the escape was sort of in depth. It required you to actually think on how to get out. Good thing I remembered there was um, some alternate maintenance hatches we could escape through. Okay, so as we reach the surface, we should be in the clear and wait for rescue. Yeah, I still can't believe how good that, surprisingly good that was. I was expecting just the ship, the ship to sink regularly, but no, it synced actually quite well. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's going to be it for... This episode of... Stormworks. Oh, this thing is definitely a sink. No, I don't really need it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Stormax, or if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later, and I hope you had an amazing time watching this video.